all my metaphysical beauties. This is Tracy Brown coming to you today to do your May horoscopes. How is everyone today? And I'm doing the horoscopes a little different because we are in a new normal and I decided to participate in some changes along with your new normal and my new normal. And so I've decided to do the horoscopes a little differently and I decided that I'm gonna clump them together and try a new way of presentation. So, come join me. If you want your own personal reading, reach out to me at tracybrownlive.com. And I'm using three different decks, so this will be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Clearly, I'm doing the water signs. So, Cancer, let's start with you. Please eat, uh, go to my website, Tracy Brown live.com right here press tapped in for your own personal reading there you will find the email address and the text number to reach me also I am moving talk about a new normal or a new beginning I'm moving over to Roku So, get your Roku sticks, get your fire sticks. And I have the link on my uh, website, so you can just press on the link and it'll take you straight to Amazon. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate all my followers. Thank you. All right, Cancer, what's in it for you? What's around Cancers? And the question that we're asking all the cards is, tell me something good. Tell me something good. Tell me something good since the lockdown. Tell, tell me something good since the coronavirus has entered all of our lives all over the world. We need to know something good, Spirit. Knight of Wands. There's some creative energy that you have either already begun or need to begin. All right? Um... There's no need for fear. There's only need for fun. Just make it fun. All right. I'm also getting the four of swords. I really feel like prior to Corona, I, it's an ironic thing. I think prior to Corona, you were sick. Um, and maybe too maybe too sick to realize that maybe you weren't living since corona you don't want to self-sabotage anymore you don't want to self-sabotage it's almost like you're saying i want to live i want to live i think that you have spent so much time worried about money Money is everything to you, Cancer. But you're kind of getting at the point, because of Corona, money doesn't matter. Almost like you're saying, I could do without it now. Not that I believe it for a minute, because Cancers, I know you guys. It's not true at all. But at least you're trying to process what money looks like to you and the necessity of it. And has it been like the root of something 
that you never meant to participate in. You never meant your life to turn out a certain way because that's where money took you. And I think you've been acting a certain way and it feels like illness, sickness, mental illness, maybe for the last 14 years, cancer. And I think the coronavirus is teaching you that you are alive, you are healthy, you are viable. You've got your second chance. And I think you want, like you're not, you're like, oh, I, already, I know Tracy, yeah, I already took my second chance, I'm already there. I'm already in my creative space. And this doesn't mean like quit your day job. It means get in there and do what you want. But tell me something good is start now. Today. Now. Tomorrow. Now. Do it. I'm definitely getting... Um, the Three of Pentacles, which is part of this creative space with the Knight of Wands. And it's working on something and willing to do more than one job. It's like, okay, I got to do this and I got to I gotta go to work. I got to take care of the kids. But yeah, I'm going to draw when the kids go to bed. It feels like that to me. Yeah, I'm going to do this for me. Even if you might be tired, you're like, but this brings me happiness. So when the kids go to bed, I'm going to draw. Or I'm going to learn IT or cybersecurity or something. Even though you have a full day job. Like it's, it's everything, your day job. But there's just something there that you're finally acknowledging, right? I'm getting the Six of Cups, and it's familiar energy, so it's kind of like you have to go back to it. Go back to familiar energy. You're still on the fence about it, especially for those of you that might be a little bit more mature. You're still on the fence about it. You're like, I hear you, Tracy. I got you. Um, but I don't know. And I'm telling you, it's not about a career. It's about learning this new part of your life that you should be investing in anyway. Just do it anyway. Just do it. And whatever you do, it's interesting that these two cards are coming together because whatever you do, don't lie to yourself. Don't make up stories as to why this is ridiculous. You know, especially if you're mature, like I'm getting the mature age bracket, it's like, well, this is really for kids. And it might be. Do it anyways. It might be for kids. I agree. Get in there anyway. Nobody owns any creative space. Because you're going to be really good at it. You're going to be amazing at it. So, tell me something good. You believe in yourself finally. You got the memo inside your head and you're just like, I can, I can, I will, I want to, I'm going to check into this. That's what good came out of Corona for you. Good for you, Cancer. So proud of you. So proud of you. Do it. Whatever it is. I don't know what it is. There's so much creative hobby space that, you know, any of you cancers could go into. But I'm really, really proud of you. All right, Cancer. I'm going to end there. Thank you. Go to TracyBrown.com if you would like your own personal reading or if you'd like to elaborate more. Thank you. Hi Scorpios, this is Psychic Tracy Brown coming to you today to do your May 2020 horoscopes. How are you? I am doing your horoscopes a little bit different today. 
I have decided to invest in I have decided to invest in the new normal. And because nothing will ever be the same ever again, I have decided to look at life and how I do my readings the same way. So, this is my version of the new normal. And it might keep changing, just like the new normal is constantly changing on us, I too may keep changing on um, what these horoscopes will be looking like. So go to TracyBrownLive.com for your own personal reading. Press tapped in, and there you will find um, my text message to, to text me or my email address to get your own personal reading. Finally, could you invest in a fire stick or a Roku stick? Because I am moving to Roku. I'm just giving everyone enough time to get those sticks. Please, God, talk to me about Scorpios. What is around Scorpios, Father God? We're going to look at show me something good since we've been in lockdown or shelter in place all over the world. Show me something good, Spirit. Sacrifice. A little bit of sacrifice going on here. Scorpio, sacrifice. Yes, yes. What do you need to do? What do you need to turn upside down? What have you not been investing in? What have, What are you done with? What do you, Where do you need to go? How do you need to go, go? Not how. Just what are you finished with? You're finished with something and you want to turn you want to turn your whole life upside down. I really feel like, Scorpio, you're tired of the straight and narrow. I'm tired of doing everything the right way, and look where it got me. Ugh. So I really feel like it's time for you to turn it upside down, to make some changes. I'm not talking to every Scorpio, but I am talking to a Scorpio that's like, there's going to be some changes. Period. We're going to work on changes. All right? Because you don't want to lose everything. And you don't want to walk away from everything. But there's going to be some changes. And those that can't, doesn't need to follow you. Like, this is just what you're going to do. But it might be a little confusing as to what it is that you want to do. Like, do you want to escape to Hawaii and go live there? Do you want to build your own business here? Like, do you want to go to Guam? Like, so it's a little, like, I know, but I don't know type of thing. I would say while we're in shelter in place, while we're in lockdown all over the world, I think this period still gives you enough time to look at all of that. Give yourself permission to just sit still and really fantasize as to what directions you need to take. There will be a water sign man helping you make that decision. And whatever decision you make, there might be some defensive energy coming at you. Like... I don't want to really do this anymore. And then somebody's going to go, wait, do what? Wait, what do you mean? Like, dad, you don't want to do what anymore? And it's like, I think it's just time for us to make some structural changes. And...
and I think that we are going to move. We're going to relocate. We're going to, you know, build our own house. And you're going to get people that is people, children, wife, husband, that's going to be like, yeah, no, mm -mm, we're not doing that with you. And we don't know where you're coming from with that. But you know, because you've thought about it for so long. This is a thinking card. These are all your options. All these little singing bowls are all your options. So you do know. When you finally speak up, you've reached nirvana. You know you're not, you're not going back on your decision. You just want to inform everybody that this is where we're going to take it. We're taking it here. And we'd love for you to follow, but if you don't, we're okay with that too. There is something here about WWW or worldwide, worldwide. Maybe it's taking something bigger, stronger, harder. You know, maybe it's really pushing the envelope with um, how the world sees you. Maybe it's dragging your family into this world. And you're like, yeah, no. We don't want to be reality anything. Sorry. But you've already made your decision. So you're not asking for, for permission. You're saying, this is what works best for me. Because I sat on this a long time to, to get here. You know, I got to tell you, it definitely involves the craft. It definitely involves spirituality, the craft, making soap, making herbs, making candles, making recipes, like, could even involve cannabis. Yeah, cannabis is an herb. And you've just been thinking about it for a long time, and you're like, I could, I could do this. I think that I should open up a cannabis store. Yeah. No kidding. You know, whatever it is, you're going to be really happy. There might be some regret. But if there is some sense of regret because people can't follow you where you're going, if you just turn around, there's a big bowl of jewels in the back. Don't look at the four cups that is like <clears throat> going into the abyss. The one cup that's behind you that's lit up with all these jewels, that's all you need. You just need a little bit to start over, to begin again, to find happiness, to find nirvana. You just need a little bit, not a lot. I promise you. And you're going to find a new sense of happiness with new friends and new family. And ultimately, ultimately, I think family and friends will follow you. I think they'll get it ultimately and they'll be happy for you. Ultimately. Yeah, you'll be okay. You'll be okay, Scorpio, ultimately. Your biggest conflict is today. Your biggest conflict is your vision today. Today, you might feel stuck. But ideas are going to start coming to you. Let the ideas flow in. I don't care how silly. Let them flow in. This man will help you. Everybody's not going to agree with you. Especially if it means taking something and putting it on the internet. Like, do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's like having the internet maybe follow you on a live feed or something. Right? Now you're getting it. Now you're trying to understand where spirit's going with this. As uncomfortable as it may appear to be, 
it would actually be innovative. You'll have full control. You know what I mean? Like you get to participate in your own life. Not that someone needs to cut it up for you and make you look worse or bad. This is you. This is worldwide. This is WWW. This is it's a big deal across the oceans. This is also spirit trying to talk to you, especially at night. This is not the sun. It's the moon, especially at night. You thought about it anyway. This, this, isn't a, this is a reoccurring thought. Revisit a reoccurring thought. Revisit a reoccurring idea. Especially if it means throwing yourselves in front of the public. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting and I'm sticking to it. All right, guys, let me know, Scorpios, you secretive, secretive Scorpios. Do it. Do it. It's going to be good for you. All right. Thank you for putting up with me, Scorpios. If you want to elaborate more, get your own personal reading by entering TracyBrownLive.com. Press tapped in, and there you will find the information. Thank you, Scorpios. All right. Last but not least, it will be Pisces. Hi, Pisces. Thank you for tuning in. This is Tracy Brown doing your May 2020 horoscope. How are you, Pisces? What is around Pisces for the month of May? If you would like your own personal reading, please go to TracyBrownLive.com. And there you will find my text message and my email address to get your own personal readings. Also... Um, I'm going over to Roku. So, get your Roku stick or get a fire stick and come join me on Roku. Just giving everyone enough time to get their sticks. Okay, what is around Pisces? Tell me something good. Tell me something good, spirit. What is around Pisces for the month of May? Pisces, drugs, alcohol, abuse. Stop. Stop, Pisces. Drugs, alcohol, abuse of any kind. I mean bullying. I mean bullying. I mean ordering people around. I mean... Stubbornness, right? Because you need to be right. All right, Pisces. All right. No bullying around. All right. There's something you need to be working on. So please work on it. Also, there's something that you could be working on that could involve family. It's really important. The higher font tells me that order, structure, um, Things that people said you had to do it this way is all behind you now. You already know because of Corona, all the rules are broken. So what the hell? Don't expect me to follow the rules. You don't have to, Pisces. Um, but it could be a little bit of a fight and you don't have a big game in this fight. But you could still state your case. It's just that your voice will be heard that much. But speak your voice. Speak up 
anyway if you don't agree with some order or structure that somebody wants you to participate in. Speak up. Because I really feel like if you don't speak up, you're going to get caught out there. And you're going to get caught out there in a different new system of law and order. So be careful. It could be a group that you're entering into that should really just should not have any rules. And then you're going to be like, listen, I didn't start at, like to come into no rules. Why are there so many rules? You're going to say that to yourself. Um, but it's almost, it's, it's almost because you didn't say something in the beginning. Like you have to say, man, I love this. No rules. God, that's what I was looking for. If you speak up, then you'll understand you, you're speaking to somebody in the group. And somebody in the group is going to be like, oh, rules. Because you don't want the rules. But if you don't speak up, even though you think you won't have a voice, why should I speak up? Nobody's going to listen to me. That's not true. Just say it outwardly anyway. You actually will be heard. Or at the very least, you won't get the rules. Everybody else might have to follow some crazy rules, but you won't because you spoke up. <sighs> Definitely a new beginning that is imaginable unimaginable <laughs> unimaginable um you what you think you're thinking stop thinking it it's all the way opposite all right and it'll take a little bit of time to get there about two months but you got the magic all right you got the magic you got the capability and to top it off you have a new beginning that will begin in no later than a month. Maybe it'll begin in a month and then in two months time, it's a real, real start. Tell me something good, Pisces. Use your voice. Use your voice or you'll get stuck in a systematic place of rules and that's not what you're signing up for, right? Fishes are too free, right? Speak up. I didn't say yell and scream. I just say, huh, I don't know if I like all those rules. They'll listen to you. All right, Pisces, I hope you can appreciate your reading. If you would like to elaborate more, TracyBrownLive.com, press tapped in. And when you tap in, you will see the text message and the email address to contact me. Thank you, guys. This is my new normal, and I'm not taking it back. I hope you appreciate May's reading for what it is. And let me know your opinion. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.